Uh, before any of that, it's time for the last ever. My goodness, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? How long do you reckon we, before we do it, how long do you reckon we've been doing the train for? I reckon the train has been going for, I would say, seven years. I think so. Six, seven years would be my guess. It's a long old time. Yeah, it doesn't stop it. This will be the last time it leaves the station with you and me driving it. Are oh, you ready? Oh, stinks. Let's do it. Whoa! <laughs> I forgot about Richard React 4. We love Richard React 4. He was. He came in to join. So the rules are very simple. You can find up and talk about whatever you want. But it can't be sport, politics, religion, nothing too serious. Steve. Hello? Brian. Steve. Why are you saying Steve? Steve. Gary. You're just going to say Steve, are you? All aboard! Don't know what's happening. Steve. Yep, Steve. Yeah. Okay. Andy. What was the name of the yeah, six good. time world snooker champion? Mm-hmm. First name. Mm-hmm. What was it? His last name was Davis. Mm-hmm. Steve. Is the correct answer. What was the uh, the name of the captain uh, for Liverpool when they won the uh, Champions League in Istanbul? Oh, he's given both names. Okay. That could have gone for days. Thankfully, we haven't got time. Uh, if your number ends in 172, who's that? 172? Hello. Hello. Hi, Hello. who's that? Lee. Hello, Lee. Five questions, quick fire. Okay. Last time you had dinner together, you and Jason. Gosh, Tonight. That's good. Yeah, we did, yeah. We did, yeah. Uh, last time you looked at each other, I thought WTF. Now. Don't do it now, yeah. Yep, Next one. Yep, it's all now. Yeah. Last time you had a session together? Oh, earlier. Earlier, earlier yeah. before we came on air. Yep. Last time you looked at his clothes, I thought, I really like that. Oh, that's a tough question. Now, now you're Come on, tough. why are you doing that's that? That's really difficult. Why have you done that? 40, 13 and a half years ago. <laughs> <laughs> and last time we looked at him, I thought, I'm better than him. Oh, do, well, do now, do hold now, on, do now. Do now. Yeah, yeah. now. Keep looking. Now. All I've got to do is blink now. when I think it. <laughs> Listen, great work, guys. I'm going to miss you. Love you. Thanks, man. Nice call. How nice was that? We did really well with those answers. I like that we went quick fire, and he took about 10 minutes on each one. Uh, if you're not mentioning 258, who's that? 258? Hello. Hello. Who's that? Oh, hello. Um, listen, there's a, a movie called The Hangover, which is all about Las Vegas. And um, I was wondering if you've seen it, which were your favourite bits? Can you say that again? <laughs> film. <It's> the, <laughs> there's a film. movie called The Hangover, which is about Las Vegas. Oh, The Hangover, yes. Which is my favourite bit. Was, yeah. Okay. What was your name? <clears throat> My name's Michelle. I'm a radio geek, and you two are my radio heroes. Oh, wow, that's and, nice, um, Michelle. And if, if any of your listeners who really love you haven't seen it, I, I uh, could you encourage them to go and see it at, in honour of your new show together? Because I've spoken to some radio people at the BBC and uh, high up politicians, and we'll get your show together if you want to be together. Yeah? High up who politicians? Did you say, Michelle? Yeah, yeah. You in Security Council? Shh. Well, you hold on. You can get you can get me and Jay a better paid job than we've We're got at the moment. We're going to do it, and all, all your fans who love yeah. you, go and watch the Hangover. And just why the Hangover though? Why the Hangover? Why are you pushing a, a Hollywood movie? Because it's it, it, it's just Las Vegas, isn't it? Yeah. How, What's your favourite bit? How, how old are you, Michelle? The, uh... the person. Right? <laughs> no, I, don't, I don't think so. I think it's a valid question. Uh, old enough to get you a show together if you want it. Well, that could be anything. Yeah. I mean, that, yeah. it, you could be 12. And... <laughs> okay, I'll let you go now. Basically. Have a lovely weekend. Well, hold on, what about the show? How much are you going to pay? How much do you pay, Michelle? Oh, she's gone. I, I, I can't work out Michelle there. She, she's very bizarre. Yeah, do you want a job? What's your favourite movie? Yeah, she she obviously loves a bit of Hangover. Obviously loves a bit of Hangover, yeah. 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 Weird that she's, I mean, she knows that if you cut us... We bleed talk sport. Yeah. She knows she, that. She, yeah, she got no but chance. If you're listening, Michelle, double yeah, the money you've yeah. got. Jason Henderson 05. Yeah. And he goes in 05. Uh, yeah. If your number is in 981, who's that? 981? Hello. Good evening. Hello. Um, Andy Jason. Hello. Um, do you remember 13 years ago, you used to have a caller who used to call from uh, a tent in the woods in High Wycombe? <laughs> yeah. I think Jason does. No. Do you, uh, no. 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 Sorry, what's your name? Gerard. Gerard, oh, the name rings Gerard a rings a bell. Go on. Is it you? Oh, man. Yeah, yeah. yeah of course it was him. Yeah, you... Who else do you think it was? I knew he might be listening. 
Yeah, but you, but you, <laughs> was it you? Yeah, well, it might be. I don't. What? Are you, what are you, are you still in the woods, Gerald? So I've got a, a policeman no, next to me, isn't it? Thank God, no, no. My, my brother what? heard the call and came along and rescued me from the woods and said, "You can't stay here anymore." I was quite proud of showing where I was living. And you used to have a lot of uh, people used to call in and say that that guy's not really living in the woods. He's making that I remember up. Remember that. Remember that. I do remember. Yeah. Ger- Gerald, do you know what? If you hadn't said your name, Gerald, I wouldn't have remembered it. <laughs> it is a bit of a clue. 13 years ago. Yeah. I know it's 13 years ago, because I, I remember how long ago it was when I'd spent up with my girlfriend, oh. and I was living in the woods. Wow. And I, 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 t- I know you should have seen someone else, because he was walking down the street in my TalkSport T-shirt. What T-shirt? <laughs> <laughs> this is a and, low point. And, wow. What, what's the T-shirt? Well, talking about those low, low points, so I won it in a competition. It wasn't and, that, uh, now, I think that, he won it in a competition. What was, what was the T-shirt? Well, he hated it in the end. What was the T-shirt supposed to give out? What was it, one of our T-shirts? Oh, is it, is it a, yeah, one, it's a John, yeah, yeah, it's one of yours. Yeah. Is it Benefits of Obvious or... I'm not a candy. Uh, I'm not a candy, that's the one. So exactly. hold, on, so hold on, 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 hold on. So you, you're, you split with your partner and then yeah. s- somehow you've moved into the woods. Next thing, you see her next partner walking down the high street in I'm not a candy T-shirt that you owned. That, that, that's how I, that's oh. how I realised what was going on. Yeah. Well, she said that she just needed some space, and I oh. said, "Well, I will tell you what, I'll go and sleep in the woods up the road." And so, I ended up there for like six weeks. So, Jared, obviously you're in a better place. You sound you sound oh, fabulous. Man, yeah, what a camping site! You sound. You. No, have you moved up in the world, Jared? Oh, mate, as I say, my brother um, heard the call. He came along, and I right. proudly showed him where I was sleeping, living, right. and uh, he went, "No, not having it." No. Wow. No. We, we we moved. Uh, he took me up to Cambridge, stayed with took him you? and his, uh, his wife. Uh, he got me a job with a major retailer, oh, and I'm still with him now. And I'm great. I'm right up the top. I'm right up the top of that now, oh, and, and that is oh. really thanks. Thank you. And I tell you, you used to call me a friend of the show. You know, you are a friend of the show. Still are, Gerard. You are. <laughs> I've seen you a couple of times at um, Stamford Bridge, uh, Jason. Why well, did you come and uh, say hello, Gerard? I would have done, but there was always other people coming up. And I was with my... I've got an 18-year-old son, a uh, 26-year-old son, an 18-year-old son. And that next time we're up there and I see you, I promise I will. Come, nice. come and say hello and then you can, yeah, you can give me a pint. I'll, make, I'll buy you a pint. I'll buy you both a pint if I've got the opportunity. Oh, but you sound like so a top fella. That, that show got me through a lot at the time. Like you were talking earlier, Jason, about how difficult your times you had. And that was a really bad time for me. But listening to that show every night, to your show every night... Meant so much to me, and thank you for all you know for the last fourteen years. Oh, how nice is that, Gerard? Lovely to hear you. Lovely you doing so well as well. Thanks, thanks, Gerard. Okay, we'll we'll do that. We'll do that at Stamford Bridge. Okay, don't make sure you say hello first, though. Uh, Yeah, (laughs) for sure. Take care. Thanks, Gerard. How nice is that? He's changing people's lives. Let's speak to Graham. Hello, Graham. Hello. Hi, Graham. Hi, Am. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Yeah. Um, um, I just wanted to. Um, I've, I've been been on hold uh, most most of your show, which is not a problem. But um, I just want to show my appreciation uh, to you guys, especially Jason. Um, um, I basically um, uh, I got cancer, and um, just before I went in the hospital, um, I uh, got in touch with Jason, and he sent me a, sign, a signed photograph, which I kept in hospital um, and took it with me, and. Um, just what you touched on, Andy, uh, earlier about how much, you know, it could be 30 seconds and how much uh, you can touch people's lives and how much your show has meant to me and um, little things you may not think is a, is, is a lot, but it is. It means so much. And I just wanted to say um, thank you. Well, that's nice. How are you doing now, Graham? Yeah, yeah, I'm just um, just coming out my my, my second um, second chemo. So yeah, yeah, I'm I'm back home now, I'm at a hospital. Mm. Um, but yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it's tough, but it's, you know, it's it's manageable. Mm. Um, my sister, sister's with me, but um, yeah, I mean, I listen to you guys, and you know, throughout the years, and it's it's just been amazing. I remember what, one time I come on. I mean, I didn't talk about it because I got diagnosed and I came I came on and came on air and uh, I was talking to uh, talking to you guys and you, you both got me to sing Robbie Williams I don't know why or what and then I started talking to Jason because I'm a massive Chelsea fan and you were like what's going on here where's the <laughs> where's the show gone we just uh, yeah because um, I used to I, I served Jason a couple of times in uh, 
in uh, Reese Menswear in Kings Road, Chelsea. Mm. Yeah. Do you know what, Graham? Why don't you why don't you um speak to Billy? Hold on, why don't you go in there now and pick up yeah, and speak to him? Go, you go in there, I'll, 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 I'll take I'll a break. Chat to you, now, you stay Graham. there, Graham. Jason's going to come oh, into the gallery yeah, and pick yeah. the phone up. Oh, thank you. All right, so don't, don't put the phone down. Jason's just walking in now and he'll pick it up on a, on a private line, all right? Oh, fantastic. Okay, yeah, you, thank you. Wait there, Thanks, wait there. Andy. It's all right, it's okay, wait there. Jason's going to go and pick the phone up round about now. There you go, he's done it. Uh, there you go. That was uh, what a lovely way to, to finish the last train. Between me and he, the train, of course, will continue with Jamie O'Hara on some nights, hopefully most nights. But either way, that was our last train. The Sports Bar with Andy Goldstein and Jason Cundy. Monday to Thursday night from 10 on AM, on DAB, via the TalkSport app and on your smart speaker. TalkSport.